Hi everybody, welcome back to the Off the Grid Revolution. We're doing a video today to start off this, the spring assessment of what we need to do in the greenhouse and the garden. And I wanted to share some of those things with you. The project has been going slower than usual because we've been doing so much work for Bernie Sanders, which you should be doing too. Whatever you can do for him, get started. Make your own brochures and pass them out. Make your own uh, signs and put them up. Get on the phone and call everybody you know. Be in touch with Bernie Sanders at berniesanders.com, Bernie Sanders 2016, uh, Bernie Sanders video. Go to those places, find out what you can do to help the campaign to grow an organic political system. Uh, and speaking of organic, we, uh, if you recall from last year in this bed, we had uh, sweet peppers. And in keeping with the philosophy of rotating crops as um, is good for the soil, this year this is going to be multicolored carrots. How cool is that? Now, you may remember last year up here in the next uh, bed, we had uh, tomatoes. And this year, this is going to be sweet peppers. We had the sweet banana peppers. Some of you may recall from having seen those videos. And check this out. This managed to make it from last year. greens that survived the winter and we'll clean those up oh wow and we'll have those to eat they made it and while we're down here let me show you something else if you have really good soil you can harvest dandelions really well that's the dandelion root that's absolutely marvelous as let me move around here a, the light's a, not real good this, let me get it from over here this is a dandelion root it's nice and soft and tender easy to pull out if you have soft enough soil. If you don't have soft enough soil, you may have to do some digging. Today, I'll be going around harvesting these to make dandelion tea because it is used as a detox. I am in line for the dandelion tea. Uh, yeah, if you've had the corporate dandelion tea, let me tell you, this is even better. And if you get out here in the spring, you also have access to dandelion greens. And, mm. They're still good. You wait too long, they'll be too bitter to eat. Take these greens, put them in your salad. Take these whites, put them in your soups, and take these roots, dry them out and make a tea. Dandelions, stuff that everybody else throws away. Now, if you had to come down here into where there was no um, soft dirt, you see how hard this is to get out? Ah, and it snaps off. So good dirt or dig them up. Okay, in good dirt like this, it's a piece of cake. Dandelion greens for your salad, dandelion white for your soup, dandelion root for your tea, dandelion flowers to eat however you want to. We saute them sometimes with the stem. Uh, all of this though has to be done now. You get started on your dandelions now. You wait too long, you're gonna say, yuck, I can't eat that stuff because it'll be way too bitter and okay, way too bitter. So we also, Planted raspberries last year. Planted them late. Got a boatload of black raspberries. Oh yeah, I remember those. And look, they're coming back. Oh cool. They're coming back. You can see they're coming back. And all of these are going to be producing like crazy. And you can see we're pushing them away from the bed with um. I'm in with line some wires. for those too, okay. Randy. For what's that? I'm in line for the raspberries uh, oh, too. Oh yeah. And what we didn't do last year was we didn't harvest uh, the leaves for uh, raspberry tea. This year we're harvesting leaves. We're gonna get them. Once we see what plants are not producing fruit well, we're gonna attack them and, and harvest their leaves. Fantastic. And what's cool about raspberries is look at this. One of them bent over and stuck in the ground and this year it's back as a new plant. Great. And we went through and we snapped off all the old stuff. Um, if, if those, when those sticks are over here, we use them to let them support the other plants, but we're moving them away from the bed. We want them eventually to tre tre trellis on uh, the, the uh, hedges so that they'll just lay across there and we'll pick the black raspberries off of the hedges. You may recall from last year, our minds were in the gutter when it came to growing uh, spinach and lettuce. We're gonna do it again this year. We'll fill this stuff up with primo soil in the greenhouse. And while we're at it, let's go in the greenhouse and see what's going on there. 
like I said, we've been busy with Bernie Sanders, and we haven't had a chance to uh, to do everything we want to do. Well, I got you here. See these bricks? Yes. Take a bunch of those and put them in a circle. This is called a bomb glass circle. I'll make this real quick. What's it called? Bagua. A bagua circle. It's a, a meditation practice. I'm just going to show you how this is done. Complete the circle, put two in the middle. It's a meditation circle where you just go from one brick to the other. You concentrate on doing this, develop your balance, develops your leg muscles, and while you're doing this, you can't think of all kinds of stupid things you're worried about. So it's mindfulness practice. It's mindfulness training. Um, it's a Tai Chi kind of thing. Uh, it's a Dallas kind of thing. You can do this with someone else and actually do some uh, some moving and defensive tapping on the shoulders to try and maintain your balance. Mm -hmm. Great exercise, great meditation, uh, good for physical, mental, and spiritual conditioning. Called a Bagua Circle. Can we do this at um, GAs? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Just like we meditate at GAs, we can also do a Bagua Circle. No problem. I'm building one at Chris's house. Eventually, I'll build one here. Eddie has one up the street. Um, yeah, we'll do it. So I didn't see the greenhouse. The um, place was a mess. From last year, you may recall, we had a uh, infirmary where we put plants that died or looked mm -hmm. like they were dying. We're starting it again. This is all left over from last year. Parsley's growing. Greens. Are growing. This looks like curly kale and celery. So these guys just hung out in the greenhouse. They all made winter. it through the winter because the greenhouse was warm enough. It did. It made it through okay. the winter. Um, some of the other greens made it through the winter. Trim off the old stuff. We'll eat it again. We put in. We're slightly over seven minutes as a check. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so we're planting um, tomatoes. Look over here. We have a bunch of. Um, this is chard, and spinach, and bok choy, and kale, started from seed. Beautiful. Most of this will be eaten as what's called a microgreen, okay? Microgreen is a very nutritional um, salad supplement where you grow something really small, and then you just snap it off and eat it. Uh, let me see, this is a good one. Just snap it off. Um, Put it in your salads, your wonderful microgreens. Turn seeds into, into food. Um, a really small container of this is like six bucks at um, a health food store. You can grow your own for a fraction of that, as long as you have good dirt. Um, you remember last year we talked about good dirt and how we got it from a horse farm? Mm -hmm. uh, we're still able to do that this year and we bought it in our first load. So that's the greenhouse project going again next year. We changed the configuration, we changed the table we had over there, we changed the table that we had here, and we made enough room to have a work table. That's what this is going to be. Fantastic. We'll, do is, um, we'll transplant um, different things into pots. Uh, this is, you know, like, we'll have a pepper in there, a tomato in there, and those kinds of things, and we'll grow that to the point where it's um, plantable by uh, John Q. Gardner. And we'll okay. take money and raise, it, raise money for um, the Community Bill of Rights. Fantastic. Which we're going to do again. So that's just the beginning of the greenhouse this year. It's, Fantastic. It's, it's like 40 degrees outside and like 95 in here. Thank you, Randy. You're welcome. We'll do an update next week. Okay. Bye, everybody.